Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to get a look at the new update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 2.1.4. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining me again on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I was going to put this video out on Monday, but I picked up a little bit of a cold on the weekend. I apologize for my voice. It's a little bit raspy today, so please forgive me for that. But let's see what's new in this update version 2.1.4. On the screen, you can see the changes since version 2.1.3. You might want to pause the video and get a look here. But today I want to look at, they've added background and sky mask options. We'll check that out. They added a bounding box for the remove tool masks. That's pretty interesting. I'll look at that. They've also added an H shortcut key for panning. You can hold your H key down and pan. You can do that also by holding down your space bar. So that is something new. And it says they've added close all images option to menus, but I believe that was there before. So I don't know if this is a misprint or not. Let me start off by showing you the new sky and the background selections. Now you're going to find those by clicking on subject. And you'll notice mine is set for none because that's how I have my preferences set up for not to detect anything. I like to start that way personally. But now we have sky. If we click on sky, Photo AI will find the sky like it's done there. And it'll do a pretty good job. Now you can use the uh, refinement brush to fix the edges up of things. Now, why do we have a sky selection? I'm not 100% sure why we need one. If you know of a reason, let me know in the comments section below. But now we have sky and we also have background. So if I click on background, what do you think it's going to select? Well, let me go ahead and click on it. And what it's going to do, it's going to pick everything but our subjects here. Okay, so that's working. So again, but why would we only want to select the background? I'm not sure. Now, if we had the capability inside of Photo AI to do all kinds of adjustments like we can do in Photoshop and like we could in Topaz Studio 2, then these masks would really come in handy. But, you know, just for doing sharpening and noise reduction, do we actually need all these masks? That's a question I ask you. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Or are Topaz thinking of taking this product further in the future? I hope that's the case. Okay, so here's my background. Now, if I click default, I should only get the subjects here. Okay, and it's doing a decent job. I'd have to refine this. And then if we had a portrait, obviously we could use portrait. And then we have landscape. So we have all these different choices. So now we just have the foreground area and the sky is dropped out or we have none. So we have a lot of different choices here. But a piece of software like Photo AI at this point that only sharpens and upscales and denoises, do we actually need all this masking capability? I just ask you that question. What do you think? I'm hoping these masks are for future updates to this Topaz Photo AI. I hope this turns into a full-blown editing piece of software. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. But for now, let me just click cancel. I just wanted to show you we now have background as well as sky. If you should need those, you know how to get them. Let me go ahead and cancel out of here and let's look at something else that's new. The next thing I want to show you deals with the remove tool and it's still in beta. So let me click on remove. And now we have this bounding box that'll come up. Say, for instance, if I were to take my brush, and of course we can adjust our brush size to different sizes here. You can use your left and right bracket keys to adjust the sizes as well. And let's say I didn't want this tree back here. I could kind of paint over this tree like this and check this out. This bounding box comes over it, right? And you'll notice right here, it's showing me that this is 228 pixels by 228 pixels. And that falls within the Topaz Photo AI 2000 pixel limit. So here's where this can come in handy. What if I wanted to remove this tree and this tree at the same time? Well, if I paint on this tree here, now you'll notice I have this bounding box around both of these trees, right? And now it says this is 1526 pixels by 1,526 pixels. So I'm within the 2,000 pixel range. So that's good, right? But then if I come and add this over here, now you'll notice I'm in the large model input, okay? It is recommended to keep the model input edges of a mask and padding under 2,000 pixels on the longest edge to get better results, okay? 
So I could go ahead and click clear here. So obviously I could not do all this, but I could do just this one or this one. Or what if I wanted to take these subjects out? I don't know why I would want to, but let's say I did. So I could paint over this subject here and you'll see there's our bounding box, which is 901 by 901 pixels. Now, if I paint over this subject and now we take a look here, we can see it's now 1576 by 1576. So I'm within my range that I would probably get a good removal result if I really wanted to get rid of these subjects, which I don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, click on clear. But that's what I wanted to show you here in the remove tool. That bonding box can help you, especially if you want to remove more subjects than one. It's going to let you know if you're within that 2000 pixel range. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of the new bounding box. I think it can be helpful. For now, I'm going to click close and get out of the remove object section. The last thing I want to show you is a new shortcut of H. Whenever you zoom into your image anywhere in Photo AI, this will work. So let me zoom into say like 200%. Okay. And you always had your hand tool when you held down your space bar before, which you still have. But now they've added a shortcut of H. If you hold the H key down, and then the hand tool will come up and you can zoom around there again too. Now, just like the space bar, if you hold the space bar down, you can see a before and release the space bar, you'll see an after. That also holds true with the H shortcut key. If you hold the H key down, you'll see the original image. When you release the H shortcut key, you will see the edited version. So that holds true with the space bar and the H shortcut key. Well, there it is, everyone. That was a first look at Topaz Photo AI, the latest update, version 2.1.4. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, and then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.